The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary of the, the yes, Government thank House. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And, you know, it's truly amazing to watch the, the former Speaker, former Leader of the Opposition talk about how it is that the Conservative Party tries to play a positive role inside the Chamber, when in fact what we've witnessed is a destructive force coming from the Conservative Party on the institution of the House of Commons. And my question to the member is, if he really, I don't quite understand why it is the Conservative Party it doesn't want to work late into the evenings. Millions of Canadians across every region of the country recognize at times you need to work a little bit past 6 p.m. or 6.30 p.m. The Conservative Party, they don't want to work uh, uh, late in the evenings, uh, Mr. Speaker. The Conservative Party wants to be able to continue to filibuster. My specific question to the member is, will the member commit to not bring forward, well, let's say, silly motions like the House now adjourned for the day, or so-and-so now be, be heard to speak, even though another Conservative is trying uh, to speak, so it's a competition between the Conservatives, or, you know, concurrence report after concurrence report to prevent government legislation from passing. Will he commit to get serious and start debating issues here in the House of Commons? The Honourable House Leader for the Official Opposition. This is what Liberals do. They attack others of the very things that they are guilty of themselves. If this, if this member wants to talk about respecting this institution, we can talk about how the Access to Information Commissioner has said that it has never been harder to get information from a government until this Prime Minister. How about the fact that this government decided not to fund the Auditor General appropriately so that she can do her important work uncovering Liberal waste and mismanagement? How about all the times that this government has shut down debate before many members have even had a chance to speak on behalf of their constituents. And then they come in and they blame the opposition for all of that. They are the ones that have the power to be more forthcoming with information. They fight, they redact, they try to keep documents hidden, they, they have to get dragged kicking and screaming at committees and here in the House to just provide factual information and, and copies of correspondence. They do everything they can to block that and then they try to have some debate about when the House should adjourn, whether it should be 6.30 or midnight and try to say that that's how they're, uh, uh, they're protecting a democratic institution. It's baloney, Mr. Speaker. The real ways that you protect institutions is being open and accountable and independent officers of Parliament have denounced this Liberal Prime Minister for the assault that he's launched against information, accountability, and transparency. Yeah.